I am joined here with Sadish Nair. He is the CEO of ThoughtSpot. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me today. Uh, absolutely. It. So let's talk about ThoughtSpot and what exactly it does and the role you play with this company. Think of it like Google for numbers. Can you search and find business facts, numbers in general, and make it almost as easy as it is to find and share opinions? So we use machine learning and interactive search to query data that are structured databases and come back and directly interact with the content creator, for example, in this case, where we answer questions one after other. So you could ask, how did this interview perform? It did really well. And now you want to know why. It's because the colors matched, right? So next time you can act on it. So next time when you are trying to create, you might say, you know what? If we match colors, yes. chances of our content performing 10% is going to happen faster. So you see what happened? Data to insight to action all happen seamlessly. And what we did there is remove the need for you to learn the language of data and remove that completely from the picture. That's what ThoughtSpot does. Now more than ever, your action need to be driven by data insights. The problem is that the people who speak data are often not the people who speak business. Yes. Right? And there's a chasm between the people who speak business and data. With ThoughtSpot, what we have done is we made that chasm disappear, which means that a supply chain manager, a marketing specialist, a content creator, an influencer, they can now interact with the data to figure out the insights that are hiding and then find those insights and take action to make their business better, their customized life better and all of that. So I do think that when macro economy is going through these foggy, uncertain situations, uh, companies should be doing more with their data and companies like ThoughtSpot, we are trying to make it easier for them. Are companies still investing given the current economic climate? Look, I think it has changed. There is no question that things have changed. It used to be that growth at any cost, you know, just burn money and then grow and no one cares about anything else. What has happened is that things have changed with respect to efficiency and productivity and it's actually a good thing. It used to be the last couple of years, it was so frothy Anyone who can put two sentences together on a slide, they get funding and the next thing you know, there is massive valuation and there is a lot of, uh, you know, froth behind it. Yes. That has changed. People are now turning back to back into the foundations, the fundamentals. And I find that data and analytics is a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. So for example, R&D, this is a good time to invest in innovation, but at the same time, it's also a good time to invest, uh, invest in uh, uh, eff effective and efficient go-to-market. Yes. So focus on the customers who are paying the big check and make sure that they get the white glove treatment that they need. At the same time, if there are opportunity to go digitally touch and go mid-market and mass market, do that. So segmentation, companies are investing in it. R&D, they're investing in it. They're actually doing things on supply chain optimization. They are doing vendor diversification, customer loyalty, customer journey analytics, customer 360, marketing lead gen gen demand creation. All of those things are becoming more efficient. And all of that is powered by amazingly well-built data analytics. That is why you see snowflakes of the world and Databricks are all doing well. And that's why ThoughtSpot is still uh, seeing significant tailwind. Making the world a better place with data analytics. I love it. It is a fantastic logo and to go behind, yeah. Thank sure. you so much, Sadish, for being here today. It is my pleasure. Thanks for having us, Trinity.